Jude, a servant of Jesus Christ and a brother of Jay, to those who have been called, who are loved by God the Father and kept by Jesus Christ. Mercy, peace, and love be yours in abundance. Dear friends, although I was very eager to write to you about the salvation we share, I felt I had to write and urge you to contend for the faith that was once and for all entrusted to the saints. For certain men whose condemnation was written about long ago have secretly slipped in among you. They are callous men who change the grace of our God into a license for immorality and deny Jesus Christ, our only Sovereign and Lord. Though you already know all this, I want to remind you that the Lord delivered His people out of Egypt but later destroyed those who did not believe and the angels who did not keep their positions of authority but abandoned their own home. These He has kept in darkness, bound with everlasting chains for judgment on the great day. In a similar way, Saddam and Gomorrah and the surrounding towns gave themselves up to sexual immorality and perversion. They serve as an example of those who suffer the punishment of eternal fire. In the very same way, these dreamers pollute their own bodies, reject authority, and slender celestial beings. Yet even the archangel Michael, when he was disputing with the devil about the body of Moses, did not dare to bring a slanderous accusation against him, but said, The Lord rebuke you! But these men speak abusively against whatever they do not understand, and what things they do understand by instinct like unreasoning animals. These are the very things that destroy them. Woe to them! They have taken the way of Cain. They have rushed for profit into Balaam's error. They have been destroyed in Korah's rebellion. These men are blemishes, are your lofis, eating with you without the slightest qualm. Shepherds who feed only themselves. They are clouds without rain, blown along by the wind. Ottoman trees without fruits and uprooted, twice dead. They are wild waves of the sea, foaming up their own shame. Wandering stars for whom blackest darkness is reserved forever. Enoch the seventh from Adam prophesied about these men. See, the Lord is coming with thousands upon thousands of his holy ones to judge everyone and to convict all the ungodly of all the ungodly acts they have done in the ungodly way and all the harsh words ungodly sinners have spoken against him. These men are grumblers and fault finders. They follow their own evil desires. They boast about themselves and flatter others for their own advantage. But you, dear friends, remember what the apostles of our Lord Jesus Christ foretold. They said to you, in the last time, there will be scoffers who will follow their own evil desires. These are the men who divide you, who follow mere natural instinct and do not have the spirit. But you, dear friends, build yourselves up in your most holy faith and pray in the Holy Spirit. Keep yourselves in God's love as you wait for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ to bring you to eternal life. Be merciful to those who doubt. Snatch others from the fire and save them. To others, show mercy mixed with love, hating even the clothing corrupted by flesh. To him who is able to keep you from falling and to present you before his glorious presence without fault and with great joy. To the only God, our Savior, be glory, power, and majesty before all ages, now and forevermore. Amen. The word of the Lord. Kandi, Tonga Tubashimira, Okun, Mudukrikan, almost if you say a special guest, 
Like, I don't know if he does the Kironi, he will tell us if he does. Hello, how are you? I'm very good, how about you? I'm uh, good. Can you please introduce uh, yourself? My name is Moisey, I'm 22 years old, I'm a college student and I'm happy to be at TSM. Uh, Moisey, what's your last name? My last name is Tuwombe Moon. Oh, Tuwombe Moon. That sounds like a What does it mean? It means let us pray to God. How many languages do you speak? I speak two languages, Kirundi and English. Wow, you speak Kirundi? Yes, that is. Can you understand it? Yes. Okay, well, um, Udukuru Vikanakura Voga of the Humanya America, how did it happen? I've been in this country for 12 years and so I've been I'm very much used to English but although I struggle with Kirundi I also memorize in Kirundi. How how old were you when you came in the US? I came here when I was nine years old and I've been here for again 12 years. Wow, that's amazing. So you are you could one by how did you get a judge good to get a I started when, when I freedom for youth. There was a volunteer who challenged me to memorize uh, James, and I did. And after that, I just grew in love with it. And even now, I still really don't fully understand uh, where this gift comes from, except for God. Uh, it comes from God. <laughs> yeah, which is uh, which is good. Yeah. God like what I'm getting the results, my niche and the results. So mom began me one, you're only one of the same living here, praying it. Oh yeah. The, only you? Yes. Wow. Do you have you ever tried to teach others? Uh yes I have. I did uh, Sunday school uh, and uh, I've had uh, students memorize uh, from the age of uh, eight to twelve memorize more than two books. Wow. So if it have a good thing what way living and I got to move the two other five. Currently, I know 15 by the grace of God, and I hope that He adds more as I continue faithfully in this ministry. So, I feel very happy. I feel like myself, and I feel that. Uh, I, I don't have to worry about tomorrow because I have the word of God. Okay, what are your goals? Who do you, who, who do you want to become from now on? Um, I want to be a lawyer, but really I know who I am, which is a man of God. And so I want to continue uh, in faithfulness in that, in who I am, which is a man of God. And I think that is uh, by memorizing and by encouraging others to do so. And I think that if you do memorize, uh, I think it brings you more to God. If you're not memorizing, yeah, there is a way to do something you have a passion for or something you love. So, between becoming a lawyer and uh, doing the work of God, what's your passion between? Of course, it's the work of God. The work of God. Yes, so, I encourage you to, like, I suggest you should become a pastor or something. Is that one of your thoughts? Yeah, well, thanks for that uh, encouragement, and uh, I hope I'll you know, uh, become it. But uh, so far, I'm waiting on God. And Okay, at TSM we have a lot of people who is following us. Like, not if someone mentioned the quick Canada, I want to move on the Canada, US, uh, you know, Australia. Uh, when it comes to memorizing, how how about you say about now? We have another good thing. Give us a comparison. Now, how about now? We is like, oh, you know, we do this. Ah, now you get any? How is this? Ah, you know, how about you now? Ah, so how about when you go to? What should we do to our children or our youth? Well, don't think that I, it comes from my head. Don't think that it comes from my heart because I'm better than you or good or more intelligent. That is not true. It comes from my love uh, of God and my um, convictions to be better, to be perfect every day. So as long as you have a memory and as long as you have a Bible, you should be able to do the same thing. Wow. So, we are going to put just like in our book. So we were Christ to yes, so shaking up my kids are taking an outing with my God, taking an outing with my wife. All of myself. I mean, all of myself. I mean that. Don't think that because I memorize, I am perfect. Or I am good. It means that actually, I memorize more in my sin. I memorize more when I am down. I memorize more in my weakness. 
that's what I need or what I got. Okay, last but not least, a question on oh, like where can people find you? Uh, I mean, if it's a ministry, yeah, uh, what kind of ministry? How do you manage? How do you manage? How do you manage? How do you manage? So, can you tell us your ministry? Like, I want to go from there. Hey, I want to go there. What's your phone number? What's your email? Like, what's your what's your ministry? Like, uh, what do you do? Well, um, my ministry started at a very early age, and it was uh, word power. But as it grew, um, the good Lord worked uh, his miracles and uh, turned it into wholesome memorization. And uh, you can find wholesome memorization on YouTube, on Facebook, on Instagram, and about all the other social media platforms. Please do find me there, and please do hear the word of God. And I'm amazing. So, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to tell you what I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to tell you. All the books that I have memorized, I know. Books I've memorized, I know in English except for Jude, which I just did, and I hope that you will be able to tune in again as I come and recite Jude to you in Kirundi. Oh, welcome. Thank we'll be happy to have you at Sam. Thank you. So, Tomashimi Chane, I'm going to have a good show. 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 God bless you.